The Chet Awesome members in Part 1 were Doug Walker, Malcolm Ray, Tamara Chambers, Walter Benasiak, Rob Walker, Heather Roos, and the man who co-reviewed, along with the nostalgia critic, Jennifer Aniston's Leprechaun and Sharknado, Brad Jones, a.k.a. the Cinema Snob. Now, let's continue with the list. Number 9. The Simpsons, Treehouse of Horror, from 2017. Back when me and Sammy were kids, Sammy was a big Simpsons fan. Bigger than me. I have only select few favorite Simpsons episodes, including the Who Shot Mr. Burns two-part miniseries. These days, Sammy is not that big into The Simpsons, but I still remember us watching some Simpsons episodes, and almost everything about the show is watchable. Yes, I really do mean almost everything. And every Halloween, they show up to do a, a little Simpsons Treehouse of Horror related intro where it starts off at the Joke Cemetery and here we see some dead jokes, like for example The Simpsons after season 6, that's what we're talking about The Joel Schumacher Cinematic Universe I'm sure people remember the Batman and Robin masterpiece to this day Not Any good Transformers movie past the first one and I like Megan Fox in both Transformers movies, regardless of what people say about Revenge of the Fallen Nicolas Cage say no to movies, one involving Jared Leto, and one involving the Dark Universe, which I'll say here. The movies that the Nostalgia Critic reviewed were Scary Godmother, It, from 2017, Halloween, from 2007, directed by Rob Zombie, so take it for what it's worth, The Mummy, from 1999, and of course, the Mummy from 2017. I can't look at the thumbnail. Because it's... Even though it's not real, it's... An effect that I can't look at. Um, as for The Mummy, that... The Nostalgia Critic and the Angry Video Game Nerd did a crossover review on... It was about... The Mummy from 2017, supposedly starting the Dark Universe, and it was so bad that the Dark Universe was cancelled after only one film. But despite that, I enjoyed a couple of scenes from their crossover review. One of them being them saying cliched lines like, they don't make them like they used to, you win some, you lose some. I didn't sign up for this. Here we go again. Lubba dubba dub dub. Too many layers to count. And also... Uh, the scene where some music plays while the Nostalgia Critic does a private thing in the bathroom. Other than that, the review and the movie don't do that much. Still, this was an interesting Nostalgia Ween. The Simpsons Trias of Horror. Why you little genius of doing Halloween specials that you could tell scary stories in your treehouse.